Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're gonna be playing some tier one decks. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, or a couple of people for that, have been asking about Yorion builds, so the 80 card specials. Uh, I've yet to play a Yorion deck on stream nor offline, um, so this is something I wanted to try out at least, give some gameplay for the channel. Uh, this is the Jeskai Luka variant, um, this is a croaky special. Um, basically, what you're trying to do is with cheap token makers like Birth of Melides, Elspeth, uh, Sharknado, uh, Castle Ardenvale, you basically minus Luca and always get an agent of treachery. Uh, there's ways to copy it with like Mythos of Luna. You have a bunch of value. It's basically like a Jeskai controlled fires deck um, with kind of a combo steal your things. And then what you can do is like with Yorion, you blink fires, use your mana to cast, it comes back. So you get a bunch of free value out of it. Uh, mana base wise, we do have some trinomes as well, so you do have the green to potentially get the fight here if needed. Um, so it's kind of like the Jeskai Control combo-y style deck. Sideboard just kind of fits up some matches. Uh, you have Scorching Dragonfire. They had Fire Prophecy in it. I like Dragonfire better from the Exile, and it also hits Planeswalkers, which is relevant. Some Vetoes, Disputes, War Boss versus like the Mirrors or Slower matchups, and some Clarions. Um, so we're going to run it through. I'm plat tier 3, haven't been playing too much, was uh, practicing some fire or some cycling yesterday against one of uh, my YouTube subs. So we wanted to see how the matchup was, so we tried that out a bit. Um, probably going to be top 1200 for the month. It was like 700 with like a minute left, so waiting on the official notice to come in. Um, so if we get that, then uh, we can go ahead and practice for that event. I do like the Jeskai. Uh, we'll keep this little heavy on lands, but we have Fires, Yorion. There's a few different types of Yorion decks. Hey, Guanum. Yeah, um, that was pretty much all Gruul, Aggro, and Historic. And then the last little bit was I went down to 91%. I just couldn't find a deck I liked in standard after like Jeskai Control kind of fell apart and then picked up the Fires deck and was doing pretty well with it. Um, so let's just go Birth here. Just fixes up our mana. Do need some action. This could be the Elementals build. No, it's the Bant build. That's actually a good play. Gives us something to do this turn. These mirrors are probably also just incredibly long and drawn out. Out of curiosity, Quantum, do you see the chat when you posted your message show up on the left hand side of the screen now? I've been playing with the settings to get it to go on OBS. Esper Fire sounds pretty sick. Do you have um, do you have a link for that? So I don't really have anything to copy right now. So I think I prefer just getting down like the Sharknado for following turns. Drawn a lot of lands. Just gonna get fires down. Probably being mindful of clock is also important here. The omen. Sweet. Okay, yeah, I've seen this one. The Esper control list. Yeah, I had an Esper... Um, Doom Foretold one that I was trying, but uh, it kind of diluted a lot of it, so you're less likely to find Doom Foretold. Like, you could play like a Dillic Tutor, but then you're just playing bad cards. It's kind of annoying, because they're going to bounce our fires, no follow-up play. Drawn a lot of lands. Agents, nice. 
Um, I think we just go. Let's go fires. And then I'm just going to play out Yorion. Just draw an extra card. This might be Mystical Dispute. Oh, just another Omen. It gives me something to attack into Teferi. If they have a board wipe, they board wipe now, but I get to draw a card off it dying. Teferi's good. In case they have counters, we can do that. I could Shark Typhoon as just a spell, but I think we just try to draw here. So let's attack in first. Okay, main phase shatter. So that would have made if we had the token still. I think what we do here. Let's cast a fairy. So they have neutralized, that's fine. In this matchup, having repeatable tokens is probably good. I will change the world. So like what we can do here, we make a token. And then I minus, and then I steal their Teferi. Do this now, and I could pop this and scry. And now I have agent, and then I have another agent that I can steal, start stealing their lands. This plays me around counter magic. If they have something like Conquer's Death, they need to choose what they want to attack here. This version of the deck usually plays some number of counter spells. Uh, they usually play neutralize for sure. Okay. This might just be double draw two cards. I can just steal their Yarion too. So let's scry here. I uh, have another version of the deck that I, I haven't tested it out yet. It's a black white sacrifice deck with Yorion. I just built it, but I haven't had a chance to actually run it yet. So I want to run some games before uh, playing it on stream. So wouldn't mind something like Conquer's Death here. Another Teferi is pretty solid. So I can't make a token yet. Let's see what we hit here. Ah, would have actually liked that land. Um, I think what we do... Cast Agent. Steal their Yorion. I think what we do here... I want to keep up uh, Protection. Don't worry, I got this. And then I'm going to play my own Teferi. Fairy. 
because they, they could have had a counter like they could have had dispute or something or they might even be playing veto so we keep our own here Stand by and, watch. and then i bounce the agent draw a card sweet and then i have the option to scry on end step now I have Conquer's Death for whatever threat they have. It can get me back my Yorion. This might just be a big Sharknado token. Drawing a lot of lines. So I think what we do here... We attack with both. If they have a Sharknado, then I steal their Sharknado token. think here do we just steal their lands they might have a board wipe so I kind of want to keep this agent in hand hmm okay, conquers death but there's no value you know what, maybe let's just get this out for now It'll get me back my Yorion. Question is, what do we do with this? Just plus. Nope. I have enhanced my tactics. If I play this out, I get... I have three things of theirs. No, I don't, because I lost their Teferi, so I don't get the card draw. I have a feeling they're going to Sharknado. No, they don't have it. Okay, so they're just dead. Hey, hey, how's it going? So this matchup, Legion War Boss is good. The Vetoes, probably Dragon Fires and Disputes coming out. Mythos. I'm inclined to take out fires, to be honest. I don't want to tap out for it, and then it turns off counter magic. Still like Agent. Conquer's Death is still fine. Probably Birth of Milites. Actually, the Shatters. So what do they have? They have like Sharknados, which we can bounce or steal. Yeah, Narset's very difficult to play around. You gotta kind of deal with it, otherwise you lose. Still think I like... Nah. Probably get rid of Elspeth. Keep one Shatter as contingency. Had a little glitch and I had to restart and I don't think it's sideboarded. So we are not sideboarded. We are playing our main deck. We are, right? So not the greatest. We don't have any of our counter magic. And untap's not working right now, so. Drawing agent's probably not the best. 24. It's gonna be a dog in this matchup, most likely. They get to bring in more counter spells, stuff like Dovin's Veto, uh, Mystical Disputes, stuff like that. We'll play it out, though. See how it goes. Keep Narset. I'm just going to run out spells here. If they have counters, they have counters.
Tamiya. So they could just pick up neutralize here. They're gonna plus PCD. Hmm. I could just play it out like this since they go. I'm gonna probably just make it for one here, so then I could try to conquer his death. I'm really annoyed. Had to crash right then and there. The storied past holds our future. I most likely have counters here. Will attack nonetheless. Like I said, I just want to keep jamming stuff. Playing, like, we can get countered pretty easily by Mystical Dispute on a Nar set, so I'd rather them spend more mana. Yeah. So next turn, if we draw another land, I'll, I'll try to pull out the Nar set. They have a 1 1 2. Probably just going to concede this one. Mind you, I'm going to let him run more time off the clock. So they kept in the shatters against us. Do we see any sort of vetoes? Let's see if they trade here. I'm doing this so I have the, the three mana. If they have dispute, I can pay for it. This will force out a hard counter. Okay. So we'll see here, they can down tick to pick up the counter spell. They're gonna up tick here. Man, they had a lot of lands there. That would have been a, a nice little trek for them to go through. Okay, Yorion. I want fires. Yeah, let's just try to jam fires. They might have veto here. Yep. Then they just down tick. They take it. I really wish our sideboard went in in time. Why aren't you working untapped? I follow the tracks of the wise. They just get the veto down. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. We draw untapped land. It's actually not too bad because perfect. I like I'm prepared to be countered here. They took the, the dispute, so I imagine they also have... Mind you, they might not have Convolute. So let's bounce that to their hand. Okay, I can Agent their Tamio. 
my nose helps me. I could also Conquer's Death. They're Yorian. Okay, so they go Conquer's Death here. I'm actually going to steal their Conquer's Death. Ah, they drew the dispute. And then this resets that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably I'm just gonna wipe here. Slows down the clock a bit. I'm gonna try to just bait it out with Luca the counter. They might just reset this. Interesting. Yeah, well, the problem is with this one, the arena crashed right in the middle of sideboarding, so I didn't get to bring in any of my, like, reactionary cards. So at this point, I'm up a game. I just want to run him down clock. Their deck doesn't close out that quickly. They bring back Vito... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's just bring this out, have it be vetoed. Because if I could get to 10 mana, then I can try to Conquer's Death and Yori in the Conquer's Death. I've got 41 you. cards. To the library. Okay, so they have Hydroid Crisis. Put a counter here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aether Gust. So we'll resolve this. Try to get this Conqueror's Death down. Jeez. I might just start making tokens and trying to get them that way. Okay, so they have Uro. That's the clock they need. So they 
can't escape and hold up counter magic this turn, which is good. So same idea. Let's force the counter spell out. No value here, but I can attack down at least one of these next turn. They could bounce it with Teferi. But that forces their mana. Go Shark Typhoon. Hard cast. I wonder if they actually have Hydroid Crisis. They have 29 cards left in their library. Hmm. Let's just pass turn here. I'm gonna put this up to six so I can pop it on the Shark Typhoon. They need to be able to win, and they might not get enough turns to if they keep milling themselves. This is just Arrow coming back. That's fine. Twenty three cards. Hopefully gives us a chance to sideboard. Having just Mystical Disputes and Vetoes would greatly help this matchup. It's Omen here. Don't tap that. See what they do here. Okay, they neutralize. That's fine. It's the fairy yet. The fairy can't bounce yet. gonna play this out. Gives me a blocker for a turn. Just hold this in hand. I want to try to steal this if possible. We got one turn to try to steal it. Yep, we're dead. Let's make them run some more clock off. And now we can actually play counter spells. We have about three minutes on clock on them. Okay, so as I intended, where's my deck? The hell? Yep. So I don't have time and I can't. Oh, that's lovely. Ah, that's a stupid loss to take. Let me give this a fantastic application to reset. So 
So that was not the best demo of Yorian to start. Uh, we got to get glitched out of the game. Game one went well. Game two decided you can see your sideboard, but you can't select everything. And then game three was just no fun for you. What did it drop us to? Okay, didn't give us the loss. Or no, it did. We are at plat. We are almost at plat tier two. Let's try this again. Roger, Roger. Um, opponent goes first. They're on a Luris deck. Gonna mulligan this. Okay, we'll keep this. Elspeth conquers death. Not very good against Luris. So we don't know if this is cycling or... Yeah, it's cycling. Perfect. That's what we wanted. So I'm going to just guarantee that I can find my land drops. So that lets me Teferi this turn and then ho bounce one of their creatures. Then go fires into shatter. Yeah. I know this deck, uh, Master Chief, inside out. Slower start by them. They'll play on one. They held their cycle. This isn't a fight win. So I'm just going to bounce here. Like Slows them down some more. That gives us our other land. Interesting that they decided not to cycle then. They could have attacked into Teferi. Since we drew the other land, I'm, or the other board wipe, I'm going to just clear the board this turn. And then that way I can omen and then use some mana as well. Okay, another Valiant Hero. In this matchup, if you're playing against Yorion with the Cycle deck, um, Dragon Singer does more work. Uh, let's go Omen here. Want to find a Token Maker? don't think we want to ferry. No, I don't think we want to ferry. So not the most value, but still decent. Um, just pass the turn. So normally what you can do is like when you do this with your Yorian, if you have enough mana, you can cast more spells from hand. I just need something to make a token. The thing too here is um, you need to be mindful. One, two, three, four, five, six for Zenith Flare. They want to try to like fight into Teferi. That's fine. I'm going to just board wipe on the turn. Probably go Teferi bounce Yorian. Board wipe, cast Yorian. No more 
So it's a little annoying only because it means Teferi would die. His Conqueror's deaths really aren't good in this matchup. Um, so let's go... You attack. Bounce you. Narset. Okay. You know who's really good in this matchup? Narset's good. Perfect. So we can start stealing their stuff next turn. Hey, I've been on the other side of Narset. I've had to use a Zenith Flare for like 15 to take a Narset off the battlefield. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, they're at 10 with Flare. So that might just mean that there's another Flare coming. So we might still die. Shark Typhoon. Yeah, we're probably still dead. Flares come in bunches. I have just the trick for this. So we can do here. Let's play this for zero. Cast Luca. Minus here. And I'm just gonna start stealing their red sources. So if we can dodge one turn, we're okay. All right, we got him. I'm doing your plan, Master Chief, when you stole all my red sources yesterday. Uh, so post-board, what we do is we bring in the Dragon Fires, the Vetoes, the Clarions. Um, I'm gonna take out Fires in this matchup. Uh, Melides is fine. Teferi's fine. Oh, these Conqueror's Death are garbage. Probably still want to consistently hit my land drops. Probably get rid of Elspeth. Agent's okay in this matchup, but I think we cut one. Like, we can steal a big fox, but we're probably killing a big fox. And probably cut down a Luka. Go like that. Basically, we're going to get to a point where we just never let our guard down with uh, Dovin's Veto. Maybe I should have kept the other agent in. Or on the... If we lose this one... Yeah, this hand's not going to do it. Hoi. Hoi. Let's try it out, folks. Let's try it out. We have two draws to find a land. One draw to find a land. There's 35 lands in our deck. Any untapped land. Any untapped land. How is a 36 land deck that's still proportionately more than what you'd be dealing with. Probably too far behind here, because the thing is Melides will help me go into the Shatter this guy. We're taking six already this turn, eight this turn. Yeah, we're probably dead. What a stupid deck. How do you not draw lands? Um, let's go agents. Let's go down mythos. Maybe go down. 
Yeah, I just run it like this. Ha. <sighs> Fox on one is the most powerful play that you can do with that deck. Um, especially against the Clarion deck, you want to prioritize getting it to four. This hand's fine. I have the option to both Omen and Dragonfire if they have the Fox on one. They do have Fox on one. You want to Dragonfire them before. They have the ability to cycle. So here, because they can't cycle it this turn, I'm just going to try to set up my land drops. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's a good one for this matchup. And I'm just going to preemptively get rid of this. Still baffled by not drawing light. That bodes well, no attackers. Dispute's also pretty good in this matchup. They typically have a lower density of spells. Okay. Perfect. I our planes here. Mm. Let's go to fairy first. Just slow them down a bit. Perfect. Another land. I think we're in a pretty good spot here. The fact I can instant speed uh, this Clarion is really good. Mm. So what do we want to do here? I think we just enter this tapped. The turn's going to be just Clarion. I want to be able to make a token. because they're going to be committed to attacking Narset here. And if they want a Zenith Flare to kill a Narset, that's a great use. So you can't counter that. Drawing a lot of Mystical Disputes isn't the best. Um, I think what we do here, have this come into play tapped and then just reset. This gives me a blocker and then puts Nar set up. That way Nar sets at five. Hopefully finds us another board wipe. Um, do I want you? Probably not at this point. I could start stealing their lands. But I don't have a token. Uh, you're probably fine. I can use Sharknado. We draw a land. Zenith Flare for six. They just attack all into Narset. They go everything into Teferi. We will meet again. Well, that is a draw. One that I am a fan of. Very surprised they didn't take. Hmm. This gets me a land. 
This kills a creature. I think we just do this. Because then I do this. And then that pops off next turn so I can get Agent of Treachery and then start stealing their red sources. And then we can just go from there. See what we get here. So we'll take the backup in our set. Because we have Veto up, which is the most important thing here. I think here I'm going to steal the Valiant Rescuer. Oh no, we have to go to discards. We got a bunch of disputes. Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-line card from it and exile it. How about no? Zenith Flare isn't lethal this turn, so it's fine. So they have multiple red sources. Just go get another agent. Can all become stronger. We're gonna beat them down with their own spells. Yeah. So basically with Teferi it would have bounced and then just slowly start eating away these shark tornadoes. Shark Typhoons would have smacked them upside. All right, so we can win games when Arena doesn't get all super glitchy. Um, just to be safe, we're going to reset. Um, so I'm going to have it this for the game. Um, I'm going to test out really quick another Yorian deck that I was building. Uh, we'll do a game here, just see how it works out, and then uh, if it actually can play. Then I'll do a dedicated stream for it. It is a black-white Yorion sacrifice list. So basically, Blood Artist effects and Cruel Celebrant Bastion. You got a whole bunch of kind of afterlife threats, stuff that comes back. Draw cards Midnight Reaper. And then kind of just a whole mix. You have like Pod and Fiend Artisan, Luris, and then Yorion can reset some of your stuff. So I want to give this one a shot. Just play it unranked for now. Also will help me do my daily. Uh, let's just do traditional standard play. I threw this together before the stream, but I'm not sure if it's any good. So I want to see how it goes before we commit to it. I like this Jeskai version of the deck though. Probably rank up a little bit more with it cycling is good when people aren't playing as much narset as they are 
but I find like it loses to itself more than anything else. Yesterday when I was playing, I was getting, like I have equal distribution of red and uh, white lines, but I kept getting stuck on red mana for whatever reason. And there's some games you hit one land and it can take you there, other games you hit one land and you just, nothing happens. Um, sure. Like, Cat Oven with Midnight Reaper is a great engine. And then Mothra allows things to come back, so you get two activations. This could be Teamarek. Hopefully not Flash. It could be Teamarek. Flash is, at least with this hand, it's pretty slow. Okay, not bad. So based on this hand, I'm gonna lead with Cauldron Familiar first. If it gets countered, it's not as bad. We want the oven to res remain. Guess they don't really have a counter on one. Okay, now we can do some chip damage. Really want to draw a land so I can get Midnight Reaper just to refill our hand. So still could be Team Wreck. It's usually the only decks you see with this combination. Need one more land. Should have been more specific. I needed one more land that came into play untapped. Okay, so let's see what they got here. We're pretty insulated even against like a board wipe. Yorion also just getting extra ping triggers here is good. And then also, if you have flying counters on your creatures, you can reset them so that they don't have flying counters. Having a second cat's also good here. Like they can have an exile effect, which they likely do. Scorching Dragonfire. Isn't the end of the world, because it means that my Midnight Reaper is not getting dragon fired. So I'm going to do this now. I was hoping to hit a land. Puts our guard down, so... This can be killed, but it's fine. With Bastion, it also deals two damage every time the cat dies. Might go... Depending on what we... If we don't hit a land, then I'm going to go another Midnight Reaper here. So let's attack in first. I didn't bring the cat back because if they had dragon fire, I couldn't protect around it. That's fine. Perfect. So here... I think we just go... I 
I'm gonna go Bastion. Because the thing is, like, when things start dying now, it's gonna hurt the opponent. They're one off from uh, getting Uro back. Missing another white for uh, Broodmoth. So I'm just going to prioritize getting the, the drain off them. I'm not going to bring it back. I don't want it to get dragon fired. I make two 1-1s, one which on the current board state's not terrible. Three, four, five. They have to get rid of an Uro to do so. So I think we just do it like that. Make the one ones. Because I want to be able to play two spells in a turn. And like, uh, Luris isn't really doing much with our current graveyard situation. Okay, they spiral here. Interesting. You think they'd go, uh, Uro? They're being defensive. I, I love Bastion. This is like the aristocrat style decks with like the old blood artist effects. Just every action we do is draining them slowly of life. Come on opponent. Prepare to be omened of the sun. And then also this is making their explosions cost more mana just based on us getting more life. Another land. So we'll go Orzhov Enforcer and then drop Midnight Reaper. That's fine because that gives me a play for the following turn where I can use Soren to bring back Orzhov Enforcer, which is a great blocker against Uro. They are also at 12 life. Like, they'll gain 3 off Uro coming in. But we are getting to the point where... Like, just alone, like, I, with Yorion, still short of white mana. But I can use it to blink all these again to get more tokens. I think we probably just force through damage here. We'll see. If Soren resolves... Then we'll do it. I 
And if they dragon fire the Reaper, it's fine as well. They probably, if they had dragon fire for Reaper, they would have done it most likely before. Okay, cool. Another white source here. Um, so I can do this. Or I can play Mothra, or I can play Lurus. I think we go Soren here. Okay, we are getting Mystical Disputed anyways. Um, so based on that, no attacks. I'm going to block with everything on this arrow if they try to attack in. Hmm. They could wreck uh, so the Witch's Oven gets shut off. But at this point, the Bastion is equally dealing some headache to them. See what they want to do here. They could escape back again. Blowing a Bastion is actually not terrible. For them because then it gets rid of the midnight reaper and this omen as well which makes this a lot worse this is explosion they need to go face because i can just sack well no i guess not it's two effects let's draw a card Okay, so if we draw a Woe Strider, then we can just like machine gun their board. Basically, you sack everything on your board with Cruel Celebrant and Bastion out, and then they die. Or we just go double celebrant and attack with everything. <laughs> um, let's see what we got out of our opponent here. Okay. Okay. Don't think they realize they're dead. So everything that dies now deals two damage to them. Doesn't matter.
and they're dead. That's how it's done. Nice and fun. So in this matchup, you want Agonizing Remorse. Um, probably a Command the Dread Horde. So the thing is, they usually will bring in Storm's Wrath, so Gideon's probably not as good here. Um, I honestly think we just keep it pretty low to the ground. Priest is probably pretty bad post board. They'll bring in like flame sweep and stuff. Uh, other than that, one card to cut. Like Liliana, like they might cut the counters. So Liliana would be better. Lurus isn't bad if we draw it late, can get back some of our stuff. I like the Bastions. You're a good blocker. Gutterbones is just a good early attacker. You know, maybe not command the Dreadhorde. Because it like we don't want to put ourselves in a explosion scenario. Soren can give gain us life. Mothra helps against board wipes. Also, if they bring in Flame Sweep and then we have stuff with flying counters on it, Flame Sweep doesn't work. All right, so this deck's showing some promise. I'll probably do a dedicated stream on this one. Uh, this hand's not very good, but we'll try it. That's actually a pretty solid draw. I'm going to hang on to the Fiend Artisan because it's better when stuff's in the graveyard. This might just be a faster turn by the opponent if they can wreck here and then they just start smashing in. They have one Ketria Triome. So I'm going to lead with the Fiend Artisan, since we drew a second, and then I can play Witch's Oven. I think getting Oven Down is important, because they have Exile removal. Okay, bodes well. That's a pretty good draw. I think we just go Woe Strider this turn. It's the most mana efficient play. I want to be able to play two in one turn. And then that getting countered is fine. We should have probably done it uh, pre-main, or pre-combat. Because this gets escaped back anyways. I can also just choose to call the Death Dweller it later on. I may just hold up mana for Omen this turn. Clock's not super fast without Cat. Would love a Bastion actually. Get the food token for future cats. Um, here. I'll attack in. I'm gonna get both of these going. And then what I'm gonna do next turn is use the Fiend Artisan to sack this to go get a cat. And then I could start draining them that way. 
Even if they have a like. Okay, flame sweep here. Gonna let that resolve. The nice thing is it makes Fiend Artisan bigger. And it also gives us two food tokens. So what do we have? Total three CMC. Just gonna get the Fiend Artisan back. It's the biggest body right now. And then it also gets Death Touch and Menace. And then again next turn. I'm probably just going to get the cat, to be honest. It'd be good if I drew a land so then I can play out both. You could only activate this whenever you cast the sorcery. Soren, sweet. So Soren can get me back Celebrant after. Okay, so since we have Soren, kind of want to bait them if they have something like Brazen Borrower to do it on the Fiend Artisan. Because then what I can do, okay, they just go Flame Sweep here. Scorching Dragonfire again. So we did that pre-combat, so that way we know what we're up against. And let me just get my Tarmogoyf back. This also gains us 5 life when we attack in each turn. If we ever draw a cat. So we still have some pretty good odds of hitting one of them. Okay, still bodes well. Like they're using a lot of resources to. Um, I think we just go Midnight Reaper here. Plus. Last turn, because what I can do next turn is drop this Mothra down, get back something else. They've already used two explosions, I think. Yeah, they're through two explosions. And I can gain quite a bit of life next turn. If we draw land, I can also go Yorian reset my board after narset in against us like it shuts off midnight reaper but I'm not too concerned okay so this can be used as a counter To be honest, I'm not too concerned because what we can do is if they counter, if they spend a bunch of mana to counter this, I can use Soren to so what I can do Reaper attack Narset. Okay, guess we're not doing Reaper attack in our set. 
They should have let us attack first. They could have caught that in combat. Ooh, that's actually good because they've growth spiraled here. So no attacks. Cast Brunoth. Um, like I could try to drain them out, but I think I want to just be able to go try to get a, a cat. Because next turn what I can do is Fiendart is in the Scudder Bones away. Actually, what I can do too... I can sack this to draw an extra card. Oh, they got explosion. Are we dead? One, two, three, four. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. Not quite dead. Pretty close to dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So they have twenty-six, so we're dead the following turn. So I'm going to do this. Soren gives me lifelink. Perfect. Naturally draw into the cat. That lets me attack for five in the air, or six in the air. They might explosion brood moth here. Otherwise, what we do is we play the cat, play the gutter bones, sack the gutter bones. Probably dead anyways. Not drawing like Bastion this game kind of hurt us. Might just be a Thassa's intervention. That seems wrong. I guess they have 15, 19 in the air, but it's still not lethal. Okay, there's Bastion. So I think what we do... I don't care about the card draw right now. Let's ping them. Oh, you know what? I should've got Cruel Celebrant back. They're also at 11 minutes, so if we can drain them out. This is just to give us some more life.
And then with the cat, it kind of buffers us some more. Even if they counter the cat here, we have six food tokens. now so they have 10 14 23 so if they have explosion we're dead Another buffer of life points. Do you have explosion? 17 cards in your deck. You've drawn a bunch. Okay. Feel like they would have snapped it off if they did. They might try to chemisters for it. I think we need to go up another line in this deck. If they have explosion, they should just do explosion. You don't need to get fancy with it. Your clock's running out. Waste a couple more seconds of clock. They got greedy. They almost drew themselves out. Um, so in this match up, maybe we do want the Gideons and just cut down like Luris. Run it like that. And then I think we gotta try to malt. If I, instead of plusing Soar in there, if I minus for the Cruel Celebrant, we would have gained like two extra life but then lose the one life, so it wouldn't have made much of a difference. We wouldn't have killed them anyways. The only thing is there have been more triggers. I don't get why you play Team or Wreck on Unranked. Like, it's a good enough deck. Oof. Okay, we'll keep this. Um, I like this. This is the way we win. Just get a swamp. But even if you're doing quests, like, it's not a quick deck to play. And it's very click intensive. Like, I have meme decks when I'm trying to do quests. Yeah, we definitely need to go up a land in this deck.
That's the only thing. Because we've gotten all games, we've been kind of stuck on lines. 31's too, too few for this deck. So we can play around a Scorching Dragonfire at least. No wilderness wreck bodes well there. Um let's just do this. I don't want to play two out right now. In case they have flame sweep. Deals more immediate damage. But this'll be a bigger attacker. Say that loosely. Yeah, so probably go up two lands and then maybe take out some priests. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add in uh, Scorpion. Scorpion would be better than the Afterlife guy. Um, well, I guess it's a land. Thassa's interventioning there. It's good for Gideon. They're also at 10 life. I'm just going to keep forcing him to have stuff. If I get one of these Bastions down, then it's good. That seems odd. Yes, so they found the wreck. Like, it helps them dig. Gideon's more immediate damage. But Bastion is harder for them to take off the battlefield. So like if we just go another Bastion there, we're probably okay. Like they need Uro to start gaining them life. And if they're gonna use like explosion on my small creatures, Essence Capture, good to know. Don't want to bring it back just yet because I know they have the essence capture. This might be Thassa's intervention. When you have to use your explosion to take out a 1-1 one, one token. So this presents two damage if it dies. And then we probably just force Gideon next turn. 
Okay. Um. I want them to react if they want to block this before I cast a creature. Because even if this dies, it triggers a point of damage, so I can bring back the Gutter Bones and play out a Fiend Artisan. Them lose to. Um, I'm gonna do this because next turn I can play out two creatures. And that's really all I want to be able to do. I doubt most of my spells are going to resolve. We just need to sneak in a creature. Even if I get a land, then I can start making tokens with Castle Ardenvale. And then they're forced to block and take two damage. Really, we just need to avoid Uro. If we avoid Uro, then we're good. They also only have four minutes on the clock. Can they exp Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can sixteen me. Twenty-two. So they're short. They're short one. So if they explosion me and put me to one, then they're dead. Because I play out Woe Strider and Gutter Bones, and then I sack. like the play hit me I think at a 2020 shark If I was them, I'd probably play a little bit more cautious. Like they were, we were dead. They could have done an explosion and still killed us. Sweet, took them down. All right, we'll do a dedicated stream with this deck too. I gotta make some more tweaks with it, but it looks pretty sweet. So it's two Yorion decks for the price of one. I'm going to get this up on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. One attack away from our daily. Um, but thanks for stopping by, and we'll probably do a budget deck tomorrow. Uh, we'll do some mono black aggro. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great one.